Here are the parts included with the flex fuel system from Open Flash. First off, we've got the uh, actual fuel lines that are supplied with the kit. We're going to be adding those shortly. We have the wiring harness that connects to the ethanol sensor as well to the fuse box, some zip ties, the flex fuel ethanol sensor, some wiring cables that we're going to need to attach to the um, wiring harness, and that's it. It's a nice, simple kit. Okay, we're going to change up Shiv's directions a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and remove the fuse to the fuel pump. What we're going to go ahead and do is drain all the fuel in the fuel lines before we actually start taking them apart. That way it doesn't leak all over the place. So once you remove that fuse that we had marked off there, uh, go ahead and try starting the car and it shouldn't turn over. As soon as, or if it does turn over, leave it running until it stops running. And that way all the, all the gas that's in the line gets removed. Okay, up next we're going to have the fuel line disconnection. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and disconnect this fuel line specifically. That's the only one we have to disconnect. Um, and you're going to use a fuel line disconnect tool. I use the Harbor Freight one, and the size we're going to use is the gray one, which is 5 16 And here's a nice little video that kind of shows you how the fuel line disconnect tool works. You kind of slide it in, which pops it out, and then you can pull out the fuel line. Uh, it took me a little bit of effort to kind of get it out. And as long as you drain the fuel the way we said before, uh, very little fuel should come out, but it is useful to have a rag. All right, next we're going to go ahead and install one of the first uh, flex fuel lines. Uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is grab this uh, fuel line here, and it's going to go into the spot that we just disconnected just a moment ago. Um, what you need to do, though, first is remove the nut that's inside the, uh, the fuel line, and it looks like this, and it connects to the uh, end of the fuel line. And it has like a, a slot in it. You're going to slide that onto the car's fuel line and then slide in the flex fuel line and um, tighten it all up together. When it's all tightened together, it should look like this. And it's going to be close together and it locks it into place. Uh, the size of the wrenches are 16 millimeters and 3 quarters of an inch. Uh, tighten everything up because the fuel lines are loose and you want to make sure that there is no fuel um, leaks. Okay, so grabbing the other fuel line, uh, we're going to go ahead and connect it to the fuel line that we disconnected. And what's really nice about this, this is quick and easy. You just kind of slide it in until it clicks, and it's an audible click. So just route it underneath like so, and you're good to go. So on to the next step. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and install the ethanol sensor. Uh, it goes right on top of the hard lines here, and the two uh, flex fuel lines are going to connect to either side of it. Uh, like before, you're going to have to remove uh, the nut that is on each of the supplied flex fuel lines and then uh, put it onto the ethanol sensor and then uh, tighten it up. Now, uh, each of the connectors that I'm pointing out here are loose. Uh, you got to use either a 16 or a millimeter or a 3 quarter inch wrench to tighten everything up and you want to make sure there are no fuel leaks. Uh, once everything is tightened up, go ahead and grab the supplied zip ties, attach it to the hard line here, and you're good to go. All right, next up we have the wiring loom install. Uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is just connect the, uh, the ethanol sensor to the wiring loom. It just clicks together. It's the brown side of the wiring loom. Uh, snaps together. Uh, the harder part is going to be actually uh, sending the loom through the firewall. If you look below the steering reservoir for the power steering, uh, you, there's a little hole that's pointed out, and it's pointed out here. What you're going to go ahead and do is just take the loom and send it through that, and that should go right into the driver's side wheel well. All right, looking into the driver's side uh, foot well, you should see the wires sticking through that you sent through the firewall. Go ahead and pull them through. It's right behind the accelerator pedal. Um, just get the excess into the foot well. Going back into the engine bay, go ahead and use some double-sided tape to hold down the wiring loom. I use this spot. It worked pretty well. And then you're going to also want to use some zip ties to attach the loom to the uh, cross member. Go ahead and strip the red wire. You're going to connect it to the fuse uh, cable that's supplied by Open Flash. And then go ahead and strip the ground wire as well, and you're going to connect the eyelet that's supplied with the kit. Uh, those two things need to be connected. After connecting the two connectors, uh, what you're going to go ahead and do is go ahead and look in the fuse box uh, in the driver's side uh, footwell. And we're going to kind of go in here and show you where it's at. The front of the car is going to be right where the bolt is here. Uh, it's kind of showing where the front of the car is. That's also going to be the point at which you connect the ground. And then looking at the fuse box, at the top right-hand corner, you have a 15-amp fuse. It's this blue one in the top right-hand corner. 
that's where the fuse connector is going to go that's supplied by open flash and then in the wheel well with the loom you're going to go ahead and attach it at a couple points i used this wiring harness that was underneath to kind of hold the loom there together uh, but before I did that, I stripped out the blue wire. And the reason why is the blue wire is our sensor wire that we're going to use to connect to the actual computer of the car to kind of read how much ethanol fluid is actually ethanol there is in the uh, fuel line. Uh, then you can see how I attached the loom to the wire that kind of heads towards the fuse box. And then here you can kind of see how everything is when it's all together. You got the ground, you also have the uh, fuse connector there in the top right uh, of the fuse box and how it all syncs together. And then over here on the right, uh, right through the middle of the dash is where the uh, sensor wire is going to go. So you're going to send it through there and we'll carry off to the other side now. Okay, after sending the wire through the center dash here, um, the sensor wire, you're going to go ahead and run it beneath the carpet. And there's a few screws, plastic screws, that you can remove. Uh, you got one right here, uh, and then you have a couple more here and here. Um, and what you're going to do is just run the wire underneath the carpet and kind of send it up on the right side on this kind of plastic piece. Um, you're going to have about six to eight inches of wire, and you can kind of see the computer uh, that you're going to be attaching it to there. And if you go into the passenger wheel well and you look up, you'll see the four connectors, uh, which are here and here uh, along here. Those are the connectors that you're going to be pulling out from the computer to connect the sensor wire to. Uh, if you have a BRZ or maybe one of the newer FRSs, you're going to have an extra module that's kind of in the way. It was held up by two bolts. Uh, just pull those out and pull down on the uh, module and to get it out of the way so you can pull out the wires. And looking at the wires for the connectors for the computer, um, the second one from the front, uh, which is going to be the one I'm going to grab here in just a second, uh, with the two kind of slots in it, you're gonna is the one that we're going to use. You're looking for the orange and black wire, which is that one right here. It's in the corner of the uh, of the connector. And what I did is I connected a male uh, connector onto that orange wire on the side of the connector. And then I put two female ones, one on the sensor wire that's from Open Flash, and then one on the original wire that was connected. And the reason why is so I can go back to stock easily. Okay, once you're done connecting the wires, uh, just go ahead and connect the sensor wire to the um, computer, and that's it. Uh, your install is done. Uh, from there, what you're going to need to do is contact Shiv at Open Flash, and he's going to send you a new template for your Open Flash tablet as well as the Flex Fuel uh, tune. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was useful for you guys, and that's it. I'll see you around on the boards. Thank you.